level of the castle if it was me. We didn't have treasure at the monastery. I could not. Where would I you would put the put treasure? The dungeons. It's close to the the throne room, so prisoners can be taken before the king and put straight to dungeon. <laughs> I don't know because that doesn't sound healthy. If somebody escapes, <laughs> they could kill the king right away, right? Instead yeah, of having to come up a but escape avenue out the back either. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm saying we could we can vote, or we could just everybody do exactly what I say. No, okay, well we'll vote then. I say we go down. Who's with yeah, me? Yeah, let's let's clear this top level first. All right. Yeah, Wilbur, Bella, who do you guys say? I leave. <laughs> down to next door. <laughs> Bella, All right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go ahead and just scratch a big X <laughs> right in the ground, so I'll I'll remember this is this is where uh, the downstairs are. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so you guys clear out this whole place, and you find another door at the end of a couple twisting corridors. So I'll go ahead and I'll I'll uh, uncover this for you as well. If these are stairs that go up, what are you guys gonna do? Yeah. You guys can work your way around to the door. Let's push her on open. See what's inside. All right. Do you want to keep opening the door, Bella? You tell us when you don't want to open the door, and then somebody will move in and do it for you. Well, after almost guillotine, I never want to open the door, but I'll try. I'll try. Well, you get there first because we can't hear you moving. So this looks like a chamber of someone that was uh, that had some importance. Definitely doesn't look like a Zelogar's room or a Rogar's room. But this is a large, you know, basically all kinds of leather skins covering the walls. Uh, there's one leather skin that is kind of uh, uh, above. Eh, that this desk that's in the eastern part of the of the room and it has a bunch of like brass studs that form the word erig e-r-i-g but the door is unlocked you guys just came right in it's it's not a very uh, uh furnished room it's quite barren for the size of the room uh there is a, a small crude bed and a table uh, and on top of the table there's a a small stoneware crock uh probably worth about five gold or so uh there's a tankard mug uh there's a small hand mirror on the south wall there is a uh, a wooden chest with a lock on it somebody give me a d6 roll as well there's also a uh, uh in the northeast corner there is a wooden keg with a single barrel on it, like a keg stand with a, uh, a single barrel on top. And the barrel has the code SD. And you guys remember those codes from the supply room that you guys had found on the other side of the complex. So Michael. definitely ale. Uh, it doesn't look like the, the keg has been tapped yet. And then there's on the wall, there's all kinds of pegs and brackets and basically for holding arms and armor. But the wall is pretty much mostly empty, except for a couple of shields and a heavy mace are hanging on them. They look like a, to be a regular quality. So you know what I'm thinking, you guys? I'm thinking that this was at once an armory, but uh, it was converted to this guy's office this uh, Elrig's office, probably because they ran out of room. Yeah, that, that's, that's my that thought. So I will, uh, uh, Buddhist will go over to the um, locked chest and uh, start uh, start smashing that lock off with... Uh, Just going to smash the lock? <laughs> sure. Yeah, okay. that's uh, sweet. yeah you so bash on it a couple times and, you know, you bam. Bam, takes about two or three good whacks, and you roll uh, one and the lock breaks off. off. So why don't you give me a, uh, give me a D6 roll? 
to see if there's anything in the chest. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so let's see what is in the chest. Hey, what'd you find, Brutus? Cut there his is, paws there and staring uh, at the chest. Number 27, whatever that is. An explosion. <laughs> yeah, an explosion. I like that. Let's do that. Uh, so you open up, you bash the lock off, you open up the chest, and there is a piece of parchment. That's all that's in this? They locked for a piece of paper? That's yeah, it. yeah, don't worry about it. Sometimes people write stuff on that. Here, hand it to somebody who could read. I can read. <laughs> I don't know. Is this magic? Stuff? I don't know. Can you read? What is your intelligence score? Uh, my intelligence is 10. I can read. Thank I, you. I don't know. Let's see. A 10 intelligence score. Yes, you can read and write your native languages. That's right. So you can. But as you look at this, it is not a, uh, a language that you can understand. So I'll hand it to our cleric and go, ah, maybe it's a magic stuff here. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. Oh boy, where'd it go? While they're looking that over, Bella reaches to the hand mirror and slides it into her bag. Where is oh, thank God you didn't need it. <laughs> she starts licking it like a giant lollipop. <laughs> Well, I looked at the hand mirror earlier. It was just a picture of me. The scroll? Never mind. And you guys kind of, yeah, sorry, I had some, I had to find something really quick. Yeah, when you guys are looking at the scroll, uh, it's something, it's not right in a common tongue. It's, it's written like magic user types of runes. So this is, this would be a magic user scroll. You don't know what it does, but it, it's a magic user scroll of some type. Okay. Well, we can always sell it. Yeah, we can sell it to some yes. one of those uh, pointy-hatted dweebs. Pointy-hatted <laughs> dweebs. I, I chuckle and agree. <clears throat> All right, Brutus. So the mirror. Let's, let's get out of here. So Bella's looking at the mirror. Can I search all the other crap. Uh, yeah. Kind of point over to the bed and. Uh, everything. Yeah. So we'll look through everything, but. Yeah, you guys rifle through everything. Nothing else. You just find just find the scroll that's in the chest. No other secret chambers. You know, no other secret doors. Nothing like that. All right, let's go down to those other two doors that are. Uh, Wait a. The, the hand mirror. Oh, you can take you the hand said. mirror if you want. Yeah, yeah just go into the, the uh, go into the items and just uh, search for mirror, and you should be able to find one. Okay. And, and the thing is, we all saw her, and nobody cares. <laughs> you know what, Bell? You can take Bella. You can take anything you want out of this. If there's a pillow, do you need an extra pillow? Yeah. At the uh, monastery, we would take the pillowcases off these pillows. We would load them with rocks, and then we would use them to pound people that uh, disappointed us at the middle of the night while they were. Somebody give me a D6 as you open up this next door here. You know, it, it's good, but yet bad that you have no random encounters because you're not getting any XP that way, right? Yeah, <laughs> but you get, you're getting experience well, for treasures. How much are so. for that beer, though? Yeah, yeah. that beer's good. You don't, well, you kept it, so you don't, you don't get anything for it. You get you get the mirror itself. That's what you get to keep. So this room is pretty much uh, looks like it's used primarily for some type of furniture storage. Uh, even though it is mostly empty, there are some items that are in this room, and there are three large oaken tables. There are quite a few uh, chairs that go with those tables, and then there are fourteen stools that are kind of stacked against the wall, and then in the corner opposite of where you guys are at at the door there is a woodworking table uh, with some tools attached like a vise some small saws and you know other tools of the carpentry uh, profession profession 
And then there's all kinds of old uh, rotten wood chips and sawdust that's scattered around the floor. Even though for being an empty room, it sure is pretty full, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, what do you think? What do you guys think? Do you want to just start smashing up furniture, or do we just bypass sure. this because obviously it's a... Uh, uh, what do you think, Bell? I mean, we can look to see if anything's hidden, but do you need tools for woodworking? I, I don't. Woodworking's what about for losers. Dax? I'm going to do a random right? encounter. Do you have a stool at the monastery? Nope. And I hold up we, one of the chairs. We do, but our stools are real soft, so we have what's called stool softener. <laughs> and then I throw the stool in the ground, and I'm like, cue the stool joke. <laughs> I walk out the door. <laughs> Smash a stool. Bam! So are you guys searching? I guess you guys would be searching room, so uh, go ahead and roll yeah, on do it. six. Yeah, let's just, let's just start moving stuff around. Yeah, you guys, I'm hoping we can find a brass dragon skin is what I'm looking for. Yeah, you guys rifle through everything, and you don't you don't find anything. Okay, so as Wilbur, you move down here, and you open up that door. You do see sure that thing. there is another very long corridor that goes back to the west, and then there is a door as you step out into the hall, you can see that there is another door that is to your left. Let's yeah. see what's in here, folks. All right. This way, friends. Give me a D6. <laughs> Give me another D6 check, please. A one or two will be a an encounter. All right. So you guys open up the door or smash it or however you want to open it up. And... It is a pretty nice room, actually. As you guys start to look around, there's doesn't look like there's any any uh, types of creatures in here, and this is a pretty nicely uh, and tastefully decorated room, rather than the other Spartan living quarters that you guys have been finding all throughout the stronghold. And uh, in this room, there is a large walnut bed against the west wall. It's got a lot of nice, ornately carved carvings in it. Uh, the bed also has a large canopy, uh, and the canopy is of, of an embroidered green cloth with a striking reddish trim, but it's very dusty. doesn't look like anybody's been in here for a long time. Uh, there is an engraving on the headboard as well. And uh, next to the bed is a small table or nightstand with a single drawer. And beside it against the wall is a chest of drawers made of red cedar. And despite its age, it still has all the characteristic smells of the wood. And then you can actually kind of smell like a, like a perfume aroma in the air as well. When you get closer to the nightstand. Oh, excuse me. There's a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I, was trying I, ate some of that. I ate some of that shrieker mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, on the nightstand, there's also a, a, a silver plated comb. Looks like it's silver plated. And there's a, uh, a chest with a sort of like a tortoise shell type of dish that's sitting beside it also. And there's a, a single gold coin that's laying lying in the dish. Well, this place looks pretty fancy. I don't know how, I don't know what time it is, but I feel like if it's later at night, this might be a good place to sleep in the night. I mean, look at this giant California double and it's maple, red maple. Some of the best wood mm -hmm. that my deity made. Your deity? I'm going to mm -hmm. start going through the uh, chest of drawers. Sure. Inside of the inside of the drawers, there are a bunch of uh, uh, there's. <laughs> I don't like the way they wrote this. There's an assortment of leather items. There's also uh, some old clothing, and you know some other personal personal items as well. Like whips and chains and brushes, combs, hairpins, stuff like that. I think we're in Mister Gray's uh, room here. This is the red room. <laughs> no. Uh, Anything, uh, anything of value? I'm, I'm not really interested <laughs> in the actual clothes. Uh, it looks like I would say the the silver comb would probably be worth sure. 
or maybe yeah. five gold or so. All right, That's check take check inside. Let's see. Let's see if there's a. Did I make something for a comb? I didn't. Uh, so I will go ahead and add a silver comb, five gold. Well, you did mention that at the top of the bed in the headboard there was an engraving. I might want to take a gander at that engraving. Maybe I can decipher it. Yeah, it's in common. It says, to my beloved Melissa. Beloved who? Melissa, M-E-L-I-S-S-A. Oh, so this is uh, Melissa's room. Yeah. She was the one that uh, Zeligar was in love with in those pictures. Was Zeligar or Rogan? Yeah, it could be one of the two. Uh, so over why doesn't here, somebody check the uh, chest? There might be a giant uh, fist-sized gem in there, maybe a, some kind of a engagement ring or something, unless she just didn't get engaged and is just living with him in sin. <laughs> I'll let you guys do that. But on the north wall, in the very northeast corner, there is a, a mirror, about probably about six foot tall, that's on the wall there. And then this is the uh, cabinet that has a bunch of other clothing and dresses and stuff like that in it. Uh, I'll go to the mirror and I'll try to like pull it off the wall because I'm thinking there's got to be a secret door behind this mirror. Really? It's just what would give you that? Uh, why, why would that? The way that you guys are mapping this place, right? You're like, there's got to be something behind this. <laughs> So, yeah, it's like you, my dog when he looks at himself in the mirror, he like looks yeah. behind it. Well, you guys are good mappers, you're cartographers. Like, even though I don't it think it goes right to the other bedroom. Yeah. So what, when you yeah. kind of push on the mirror, you know, you're pushing on it, and it you can tell that it's fastened on there, but you're able to kind of work your, your hands and your fingers around it and you find this latch and, and it's like a door that opens up. And, uh, yeah. As, oh, good as you, job, Brutus. Yeah, good job for a snarly, boneheaded fighter. Yeah, you open this up and there there's a, uh, a long chamber about 40 feet long that's in here. Oh, this is probably Melissa's closet. <laughs> no, definitely not a. Uh, it's a walk-in. A closet, but it has a sort of has like a like a rotting smell, very musky smell, uh, because at the end you can see that there's a latrine, and then there's also oh. like a like a sink oh. that you you know with another mirror on the wall to where you can wash your face or so she wash poops your hands. in her closet. That's crazy. <laughs> It's just a very long bathroom. Yep. So while they're checking that out, I'm going to search the bed and especially the canopy area. Sure. I'm when jumping you, on it. Yeah, there's a, uh, you know, behind the bed, there is a tapestry that's on the wall. And it's probably about, I'd say about three feet wide, maybe four feet long. And it depicts a handsome and robust warrior carrying off a beautiful maiden. You know, there's a, the scene, to set the scene, there's like a, a burning village. Uh, there's a bunch of enemies that are kind of looking giants or, you know, Northmen. And it looks like this is Melissa. And this is How also romantic. Rovar. Yeah. And then, you rescued her from these guys. Yeah, and as you kind of move the pillows out of the way, because they're stacked up like three high, there's a, an embroidered inscription on the bottom of the tapestry, and it says, Melissa, the most dearly won and greatest of all my treasures. Love, Rogar. Oh, my God. The treasure was inside her all the time, all along. <laughs> Maybe we should go check the chitter back there. That's probably why it's hidden in that secret room. It's not hidden in the secret room. It's it's on the wall behind the bed. Yeah. yeah. No, the the secret door over here in this area here. Oh, that's you what you think. Put the, you can't put yeah. the latrine here in the room. It would stink up a room, wouldn't it? It's horrible, yeah. But, you know, put we your hand in the green hole and see what you can find. 
I hear that's I, where they put I, the gold. No. That's where they put the fist size gem. <laughs> Came so, out of her, her butt. Anything so behind that tapestry? You look behind it, yeah, and there is the nothing. Gold piece there. Sure. The gold yeah. piece. Go ahead, yeah. buddy. I'll add the gold piece to the. Hey, that's you know, that's like an eighth of what you guys have found. So yeah. All right, and then. Hey, we'll what also about the uh, a... chest? Anybody break open the chests yet? Are you saving the best for last? Let me look behind the tapestry. All right. <laughs> All right. While you look back. <laughs> Tapestry. I'm excited to look in this chest. I'm just going to stare it down. Sure, it's just a small little chest. And as you, who's opening up the chest? I'll open up the chest with right. my super Give chest opening power. Give me a D six roll. You son of a bitch! There's there's roll, some gold man. coins in there. <laughs> Oh, snap. How many gold coins for everybody? Why don't you give me a 2d20 roll, and we'll find out. There is a total of 24 gold coins, so it takes you guys up to 32 Damn. gold coins now. Yes. Yeah. Holy shit, jackpot! You, yeah, that's, that's, that's a jackpot. You guys got quite a bit of treasure. I'm going to point over to Bell and I'm going to say, hey, what would you find behind the tapestries? Look what I found in this chest, and I'm going to jingle it. Jingle, 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 jing. <laughs> jingle, 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 jingle. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys, you know, basically scour the, the rest of the room, and you find nothing. Mm. Mm. Nothing. Excellent. The but I wonder gold. where Melissa yeah. is. Yeah. The dresses in the closet, are, are mm -hmm. any of them in good repair, or are they just too old? Uh, you, could probably, you could probably have some work done at a seamstress. I would say they're not in the bed. They're, they're, the style for this decor is before you were born. Oh, so this chick is super old. Or dead. Yeah, well... Nobody, Rogar and Zelgar haven't years. been here for, they haven't been here for three decades, so you don't know how long yeah. Melissa stuck around, but she's definitely not here anymore. Well, not here in this room anyways. So what do you think, adventurers? Where else would you like to go? You've got plenty I'm of I'm thinking places. that it's been three decades and the latrine still smells. There's a lot of organics down there. Brutus, why don't you take a look? It smells earthy. You want to look in the latrine? Is that what you want? To no, do? no, that's oh. okay. You guys can go down. You can go back up by the by the. Swirly, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Go back <laughs> up to the the northeast. You can go to the the northwest. You have plenty of places to go, adventurers. Yeah, so just just east of the pool room, there's that that hallway that we didn't uh, go through yet. So let's set up there now. Okay. I moved all of your tokens up there, except for I see Dax's is going up there. All right, so let's let's clear some of this hallway out as you guys are are moving around, trying to find something good. Hey, does anybody bow, have a bow? I see an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then you guys can find another. Another couple of doors, and I'll kind of. You guys are kind of searching around up here through the corridors, and you find a couple more doors. Hey, Bell. For some reason, your your push the talk is on. That's the machine working in her in her tavern there. That's is that what it machines. is? Yeah, the machines working in her tavern. <sighs> Keep uh, muting every time I sneeze, so that way I don't blow your all's ears out. What do you mean? Well, I think women, you're... women don't fart and sneeze. What are you talking about? <sighs> so, what do you guys think? Thinking it's door a good idea next time to right. mute when I fart. A door well, here. The right door first. Okay. All right. So. As you guys open the door, why don't one of you give me a give me a D? Uh, let's see. 
Give him the D. One second. Give me a D four roll. D four plus one. I'm gonna put some kobolds in here. All right. Very nice. Okay, so as you guys open up this room, this is a, a very oddly shaped room, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this uh this room up here. Well, I'm gonna uncover it here. Uncover it as fast as I can. There's a delay because the map is so huge that there's a delay when I'm taking the line of sight off of the map. All right. It's not a good sign when it takes four minutes to... Uh, uh, prep the room before we enter. Well, I'm using you a map like, that is there's nothing way here. above the the maximum, okay. so that's that's my yeah. fault. I was just nervous that oh, there's nothing here, and then you enter, and it's like, hold on, seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight, <laughs> just putting giants on here. <laughs> so, as you guys move in, oh. uh, there are uh, you hear some squabbling going on. It is a uh, like a very high pitch type of not shrieking, but of a you've heard this before in your days of adventure. You see five kobolds in this room as you move in. These five oh. kobolds are rooting through a bunch of crates and boxes. So yeah, these these oh, five wow. kobolds, yeah, they're they're rooting through some crates and boxes. Uh, they hear you come through the door. You see them. In fact, you see them before they see you, but they do see you. But this this room looks to be some type, like maybe some type of armory, because there's all kinds of mannequins, uh, empty mannequins. There's all kinds of helmets gauntlets all rusted all all hanging out on hanging on the walls and stuff so we'll go ahead and we'll end here for tonight and we'll we'll pick up again next week where we will roll initiative and you guys will be facing five kobolds in the army fireball so good job this week everybody you guys uh you guys are uh, you guys found the entrance. Yeah, you found lots of great treasure. And I'm not I'm not just giving this to you. This is all part of the rolls, man, and you guys are you guys are being really really lucky. So, getting really lucky with the rolls. So, yeah, good job this week everybody and we'll continue next week. And thanks for playing and we'll fight some kobolds next week. Maybe we'll have more than one encounter next week if you guys start rolling uh <laughs> rolling lower for the encounter so come on those shriekers were a nightmare and don't right? forget Ooh, it did take us a while yes yeah but you guys survived the the modified wandering monster roll i mean you guys yeah you guys there's a 50 50 chance and you know you guys you guys survived it and some of those wandering monsters are pretty tough so yeah you guys this is a 1d4 plus one and you guys roll a four so you guys get the max for kobold so which is cool so good job. Uh, you guys are getting a heck of a lot of treasure, so it's kind of making things yeah. a little bit easier for you. And we'll, uh, I'll see you guys next week. So good job, everybody. Yeah, thanks. Hey, I'm going to put that treasure in my portable hole. Sure, yeah, you got five of them. They're, yeah, it's called Nature's yeah. Pocket, Dave. And don't for <laughs> Nature's Pocket. Don't forget <laughs> that you guys can also, if you guys ever want to go back to a town or something like that to sell and get experience points, you guys are more than welcome to do that as well. But don't forget the time that it takes you to come back. There could be more encounters. So yeah, don't forget that. All right, everybody. I'll see you next week. Everybody good to go for next week? Hey, yep. Oh, All right. Yeah. Well, awesome. Something happen. Cool. Well, I'll see you guys at 4 p.m. next week. So thanks for playing. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>